Okay, so today I want to show you how to use colored ranges in Interactive Tree of Life, which Interactive Tree of Life, if you watched some of the previous videos, is a program for manipulating phylogenetic trees and dendrograms. Uh, it's available at itol.embl.de. Um, but previously I showed you how to collapse nodes. Uh, how to label collapse nodes, and I kind of touched on how to use colored ranges, which colored ranges are really just uh, highlights of particular taxa uh, within your, your dendrogram or your tree. So what we're going to do here is we're going to apply some colored ranges to the tree, and then we're also going to show you, or I'm going to show you how to uh, add a legend that, that tells what those ranges are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start labeling some of these uh, different clades, so we got something to use in the legend. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to hover over a node. In this case, this node has 20 leaves, and then you're going to click on it. Left click on it, go to colored ranges, create new range, and we're just going to call this range one. And we're going to apply a color to it. Uh, I like to use kind of the lighter colors, uh, so let's use a light blue. We're going to choose it, and we're going to create, create the range. Now then, we're going to need some other ranges too. So let's uh, let's make this range. Uh, let's select this this node right here, which has four leaves, and we'll just call it uh, create new colored ranges. Create new range, and we're going to call it range two. And let's make it kind of a, a light red, like that. And we're going to create the range. Now then, we're going to do one more range. And let's do it right here. Let's say uh, this this particular node has 16 leaves. We're going to go to colored ranges, create new range, and we're going to call it range 3. Okay, and we're going to give range 3, uh, let's give it kind of a, a light purple color. Okay, so now uh, we have a tree that has three colored ranges in it. Uh, we got a pink, basically a light red, we have a purple, and we have a blue. Okay, now then, let's make this a circular tree. So let's go in the, on the basic tab of the control panel, change it to circular, and we have a circular tree. Uh, and now you're going to need to know what these these different ranges are, what they really mean. You can't actually add a, a label in here, but what you can do is you can create a legend. So the way you create a legend uh, in Interactive Tree of Life is you go right here on the Colored Ranges tab, which appears below the control panel, uh, these three little dots with three little lines. Uh, that's the, the legend control. So click that, and now we're going to turn legend on, and we're going to call it, uh, I don't know, let's call it uh, three ranges. Now, in the real world, this could be species, uh, it could be gene, uh, it could be whatever you want to have the different colored ranges represent. So, uh, so now you can see that once you turn that range on, the legend on, and you give it a, a name, that legend appears over here on the the uh, on, on the work surface. Uh, now then, I'm also going to show you just real quickly uh, how to export this in publication quality. So publication quality is usually 300 dots per inch. But before we do that, uh, I want to make these lines a little more visible. So what we're going to do here is under the basic tab of the control panel in the branch options, we're just going to change the size of those lines to five pixels. Now you can see that we can see them much better. Uh, and the labels are a little bit small in this case, a little hard to read. So let's let's increase the font style for the labels too. Let's make them bigger. Okay, now then you can see that it's kind of getting off of the work surface to where you're not really able to see it. So let's, let's uh, use our mouse wheel and zoom out just a little bit. Uh, we can position it. Now what you see here, the tree scale, the three ranges, and, and the whole legend in fact, is what will actually be export it. So with that said, you don't want to put the tree way over here. You want to bring it over close to the legend, close to the scale, uh, because that's how it's going to appear once it's exported. 
Okay, so in order to export them, you go to the uh, control panel and the export tab. Now then, you're going to want to export it as a PNG, Portable Network Graphics. And whenever you do, then the, the resolution tab is going to come up and you're going to select 300 dots per inch. And you're going to want to select full image, not the screen, because you don't want all of this stuff from your browser on there. You just want the full image. Now give it a uh, name. Let's just call it Ranges Colors. And now you just click Export. And when you do, it will go in your Downloads folder once it's completed. So right now it's working on the job. Uh, once it completes the job, it will put it in the Downloads folder. So I would like to reiterate one thing, uh, so now you can see it's in my, my downloads folder. Uh, you need to save all the time in this program. Uh, so you need to go here to tree view and save as the default view for this tree. If you don't, then when you come back to this tree, uh, it will not look like this. Uh, the, the colored ranges may be gone. The collapsed clades, if you have any, will be gone. So not only do you want to save the changes whenever this pop-up comes up over here, but you also want to go here to tree views and save as the default view. So that's how you use colored ranges and a legend for colored ranges to highlight particular taxa. I hope this helps you out. I hope it gets you a little further down the line. Uh, if the video helped you out, if you would... Uh, like like my uh, my YouTube page, and I uh, hope you subscribe to it. That's it for today. I hope it helped you out. Thanks.